ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylo. So, all right, let's talk about Overwatch because a lot of you guys out there are like, Stylo, you still going to make Overwatch videos? What the hell is going on? What's all this Apex Legends about? What the hell is going on? Well, I am obviously going to make Overwatch videos. Look at all this behind me, right? For the last three, in fact, it's more than three years. It's about... Well, it's over three years. I have made Overwatch videos every single day. And for the first time in those three years, last week was the first time I never uploaded an Overwatch video every day. And in fact, some days I'd upload Overwatch videos twice a day. And there were like rare occasions where I'd do three or even four times a day, which is crazy. This amounts to thousands of videos on Overwatch. So if anybody out there... Uh, loves Overwatch, obviously it'd be somebody like me, right? How many videos have I been making? It's absolutely, utterly crazy when I think about it. However, let's talk about Overwatch right now in the state the game is in. So it's pretty stale, isn't it? Now, Overwatch is still a fun game to play and it always will be a fun game to play. But to keep people interested, to keep giving, uh, I guess, creators a reason or giving them ammunition, let's say, to make videos, um, it becomes pretty difficult, right? When you've got the same events every year, when things are very slow, when they change. I mean, you guys know, when there's like a PTR update and balance changes come out, oh my God, everybody starts making videos because it's like, wow, this is awesome. But we have these very large gaps in Overwatch where not much is going on and it becomes really difficult to keep producing content on the game. I want to make content on the game, but it's very difficult and... We fall into this trap, don't we, where you make the same content. Now, I've got to be totally, like, hand over heart real with you guys right now. You forget what videos you have made in the past, right? Because you, you, you're like, okay, this will be a good idea for maybe a discussion video. You make it. But then maybe a month later, you end up making the same type of video again. And I know I've been guilty of this in the past, and it's not great. And you, if you look at recent videos I've been making on Overwatch, it's not like we've got an abundance of stuff to even talk about anyway. It's all the same type of things. It's like, come on, we need some content. We need something to like reinvigorate us to allow us to keep making all of this awesome stuff on Overwatch. So I guess what's the plan for the channel now? Well, it's pretty simple, right? Overwatch is still there. Overanalyzed, that will be a thing. I love doing overanalyzed. I think that's probably the best thing that's on the channel. I love that. Um, there will be coverage of events as well. So if new events do come out, We'll look at those. If there is uh, maybe big updates on the PTR, new heroes, all of that stuff. Basically, the stuff which is actually worth making a video on, we'll make videos on because that's cool. But the problem is that doesn't give you content every day. In fact, the current state of Overwatch, that probably gives you content once a week if you're lucky. It's, it's probably less than that. Look at what's going on right now. We've got Overwatch League about to start, which, by the way, uh, I was meant to be at Overwatch League. Uh, I was supposed to be on the plane flying out uh, tomorrow, so on Tuesday, to go and take part in the community showdown. There's like a, a game on the stage. I was just going to be out there for the start of Overwatch League. Unfortunately, you guys know I've got Crohn's, and there's... I don't really want to go into too much detail about this, but there is something I need doing next week on Thursday, which it's not a major procedure, but it has to be done then. And I only found out about this, uh, I think it was last Friday. Uh, well, it, it was a little bit earlier than that, but it got confirmed on, on Friday. But if I don't have this done, then uh, it could cause me problems few, like a bit further down the line. If you guys know what Crohn's disease is, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Um, at the moment, I'm in a medication review, so it means um, I'm changing up the drugs that I take. Uh, I take a, a medication called azathioprine in a very high dose um, and it works for me because obviously I'm fine but that needs to be taken down or I need to be put on a different medication uh, and to work that out I need these like little minor tests done so it's nothing like oh my god I'm going into hospital I'm going to be there for weeks I literally be in and out of you know the hospital in like an hour job's done and then we go from there but it's a very delicate time so I decided that I shouldn't really go to Overwatch League because if I did, what would happen is this procedure would uh, get pushed back. And if you voluntarily refuse um, procedures on the NHS, then they don't really push you to the top of the list. And because I've got a like a chronic condition, um, obviously I need access to it. So that's why I won't be uh, Overwatch League, which is unfortunate because I because I mean when you look at me personally, like I've been to every single major Overwatch event ever. I watched the very first live Overwatch LAN. In the West, this was the Atlantic Showdown at Gamescom in 2016. Uh, and you guys know where I've been to every major event, like every BlizzCon since Overwatch launched, uh, Overwatch League Finals. I've been to the Brizzle Arena, like, I don't know, six, seven times. Uh, I have, I've, I've been to Korea. I've been, been everywhere. It's been cool, right? Anyway, we're talking about a channel, right? So this is what's happening, right? I like Apex Legends. It is a really, really good game. But why do I like Apex Legends? Okay, so <laughs> it's dead simple. It's a hero-based battle royale game from Respawn. Respawn made Titanfall. They also, these are the OG Call of Duty lads, right? When, OG, when Call of Duty was a, a beautiful game. If any of you guys know Pro Mod, it's like that era. It's Modern Warfare. It's, it's just 
That was phenomenal. Like, I played that like crazy. So I like respawn games. When this game dropped and I started playing it, I knew straight away, I'm like, oh my God, this is like, it's like an Overwatch Battle Royale, but there's a few differences. Mainly, ultimates don't just instantly win fights. Ultimates add to your player. It's still about aim. It's still about shooting the enemy. Also, it's got role select. <laughs> uh, but also as well, it is, um, you, you can, you, you've got like the potential to carry. It's dynamic every single game. And it's just super fun to play. I know it's brand new. And everybody's like, well, it's the, it's the latest hotness. Everybody's on it. But I think there's something special with this game. But th the reason why it attracts me, and I guess a lot of you guys have been enjoying it, is it's this crossover from sort of a hero shooter and a battle royale with amazing FPS mechanics all ran together. And it's like, there you go. So yeah, the deal with Overwatch is, guys, obviously I'll still make content on Overwatch, but it probably isn't going to be daily content all of the time. Because in reality, a lot of the stuff when you're making it every day, some things like, they don't, they're not even worthy of a video, but you know you need to keep making videos because that's just the nature of the beast. Now, I'm super lucky that I'm in a position that I've never been in well, I haven't been in for the last three, like three and a half years, where there is another title that I can actually make content on. And I'm super happy for this because it means that, you know, you do get tunnel vision sometimes. I'm, I'm going to take a seat back in the chair. You do get tunnel vision and you do get stuck on like one topic. You get so far into one game's community and you just sort of fixate on it. And it's nice to have a different perspective. And I've, I've honestly, I, last week and, and even now, like, I mean, the fact I'm having to record this video is annoying because I want to go and pay Apex Legends, right? But the, it, it's like, I, I haven't felt that it's like pure game enjoy for a very long time. I felt it when Overwatch came out. I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. Everybody's playing it. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. The heroes are amazing. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this is so awesome. I'm getting that again with Apex. It's like, oh my God, this game is just so cool. Now, there have been some crazy posts out there. I've seen these posts, like massive threads on the Blizzard floor. It's like, oh my God, Stylos has left the game. Overwatch is dying. Get real. Overwatch isn't dying. Overwatch is just in the latest stages Oh, sorry, microphone. The latest stages of its life, right? It's gone from you know, being a new game to having fresh new events all the time to being a game which has the same events, but has a very good esports scene. You guys know I love London Spitfire. I also love Overwatch League, so I will be watching as much Overwatch League as I can. The All Access Pass, I think, is really cool. Um, and we will actually look at trying to make content with that. Uh, on uh, Talking about Overwatch League, right? Uh, this is going off on a little bit of a tangent. There is another channel. Now, if you guys, uh, I think it was like maybe two weeks ago, I told you about um, the Stylosa channel. Now, that's the channel where I was going to put videos on that are not Overwatch, yeah? So this would be other types of games. The reason why I decided to put Apex onto this channel is because it's an FPS game. I think Unit Lost is an FPS channel. I am an FPS gamer. This is what I've played the most since I was a kid. You know, I played... Um, Day of Defeat, uh, Counter-Strike 1.6, uh, Modern Warfare, uh, you name it, right? Uh, CS Source, everything, right? Uh, well, I didn't really play too much Quake, to be honest. I didn't really play too much Unreal Tournament. So you'll probably take those games out of the equation. But FPS games is my thing. So I think it makes sense to make videos on the latest FPS titles on this channel. And I'm enjoying doing this, right, guys? And I hope you guys can see it in my videos. I can tell. When I look at these videos, I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I like, I'm just so happy making videos, right? Because I've got content. And the moral of the story is here, if you've got stuff to make videos on, well, you'll make videos on stuff, won't you? If there's nothing to make videos on, it becomes very hard. And then you're, you're looking around, you're scraping the barrel for ideas and you start talking about things which maybe don't make sense or yeah, it just becomes a bit of a drag, I guess. It's the same with anything, right, guys? You can't do the same thing forever. However, do not worry. There will be Overwatch content on this channel. It is an Overwatch channel, but it's also now an Apex Legends channel. And I think things are starting to change, right? So if you guys are enjoying the content, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I've been Stylosa. This is Unit Lost. And you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Stylosa. Uh, also on Instagram, which is at Stylosa as well. And uh, I'll do my best. Oh, God, I keep stabbing the microphone. I'll do my best to keep you guys uh, up to date on everything. And um, yeah, I, I mean, it's, I just, it, it's such a... I just feel so great. Like I, I, f I feel like um, I, it's it's so hard to explain. Like I, I know I probably you guys are looking at me like what the hell, Star? You got a great job. You know you make videos on games and all this, and you're sitting there going, oh, it was so hard making videos in Overwatch. It's not that. It's just you want to make videos on Overwatch. I want to make content on Overwatch, but they are not giving us content that's worth making videos on. And why does it take so long for minor updates? You know, I could go into a massive rant and say, 
Why isn't the PTR used for crazy balance changes? Clearly, they're doing this internally. We know they've spoke about this publicly. Jeff has been on streams talking about it. Both Jeffs have. Oh, yeah, we iterate this, we do this, we do that. We never get to see that. Why is this not just thrown on the PTR? Why don't they just update the PTR constantly with all kinds of mad random changes that clearly they're trying so we can see as players like, oh, wow, that's a good idea. We could talk about that, but they don't. Instead, we get these very long cycles. We look at things like developer updates. I think it's been four months since the last developer update for Overwatch. That is bad. You know, if you're going to start making development updates and making them regular, and then suddenly you're not going to make them, that reflects really bad on the community because people are like, well, where's where's the, where, where's the Big Jeff? Where's where, What's going on, guys? You're not telling us what's going on, which again is another issue with Overwatch. We don't know what's going on. Overwatch could have amazing plans next month, the month after the month. But we don't know. We, we, we just don't know. So you sit here and it's like, well, I enjoy Overwatch, but uh, yeah. And here's the thing I'll end the video on, right? When I look at a game like Apex, I know it's a Battle Royale game, so it's not a, it's not a, as balanced as Overwatch is, right? It, it all depends on who gets the best weapons when you drop and stuff like that. There is skill involved in it, and you have to be clever when you play, but there is a random element to it. Games are different all the time, etc., etc., whatever. Overwatch is a very structured game designed to be played in a certain way. Now, I just wish that... It was built in such a way, and I'm not going to go into role select because you guys know I've been into this for ages and forced meta like 222 and all that stuff. But, and obviously I don't have statistics to back this up. It's just the way I feel. 10 out of 8 games on Apex are fun because I get to do what I want to do. Okay? The team play together. It's got an awesome ping system, so you don't really have to talk to your teammates, whatever. Overwatch, 8 out of 10 games, I am forced to fill. I don't get to play heroes I want to play. I play on a map I don't want to play on. I'm playing a game mode I don't want to play. You get what I'm saying? It's not fun. And that needs to change. Guys, I've been Stalos from This Is Unit Lost, and I've, end I've already ended the video, so I'm just going to end it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, and uh, keep on loving it. Catch you on the next one. Doodaloo.